Hello guys, Simon here. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use the Substance Designer Live Link with 3ds Max. This plugin version works with Designer 2019 and newer, so let's get started. From Gumbro, download the zip of the version 2.01 or greater and extract it. Inside, you'll find a folder called Shalit Link. Copy the folder and paste it in the Designer Python Plugins folder, which are located in your Documents, Algorithmic, Substance Designer, Python, SD User Plugins. Now let's open Substance Designer, and to verify the plugin was installed correctly, go to Tools, Plugin Manager, and you should be able to see it listed with the checkbox enabled. If it is not enabled, just enable it and restart Designer. Also, you should be able to see a new window in your Designer interface, called Substance Designer Live Link. If you cannot see it, check it is enabled in the Windows menu. Now let's install the Max client and verify the license of the plugin. Let's go to the config tab of the plugin, and to install the client, select the version of 3ds Max that you want to use. In my case, I will select 2021. Remember that for 2021, you can either use Python 2 or Python 3, so be sure you select the correct one based on your Max configuration. The path will be automatically selected, so we can just click the Install button, and to verify it works, we can click the Folder button, and we should be able to see a new folder called Shalit Link inside the Scripts Python folder, and a new macro file in the User Macros folder. Now let's open 3ds Max and verify it is working. First go to Customize, Customize User Interface, then Toolbars, and in Category select Shuttle, then drag the Designer Live Link to one of the Interface Toolbars, and click the New button. If everything is working, a new window should appear. Now if we open Designer, both apps should be connected. We can see it in the Connection section of the plugin in Designer, and the plugin window on Max. It is important to notice that the connection will only be available as long as the Max plugin window is open. If we close it, the connection will end, and if we open it again, it will start again. Next, before sending anything between the apps, we need to verify the plugin. First, let's open the Python editor located in Windows Python editor. Here, we'll be able to see all the messages of the plugin, like errors, warnings, etc. Then we go to the config tab, paste the license we got from Gumroad, and click verify. If successful, the email associated with the license will appear in the email field, and a success message will appear in the Python editor. Finally, it's time to see the plugin in action. In the connection section, you'll see the designer instance unique ID, the connected apps, in this case only 3ds Max, the available renders, for Max we have Arnold, Redshift, Corona, Octane and V-Ray, for this demo I'll select Redshift, and the available presets. For most renderers, we'll have the standard that will rely on UVs and some tree planner options. I'll select the standard for now. Now let's see how the notes button works. Let's open an empty graph and click the button. As you can see, this will help you create the available outputs for each render preset. For example, Redshift uses PBR metallic roughness, so when I click the notes button, all the outputs will be created. If I have nothing selected, the outputs will be created at the origin, and if I select a node, they will be created after the selection. If I don't intend to use an optional map like opacity or emissive, I just need to delete the output node. And if you already have outputs in your substance, you can use those. The only important thing to consider is that the identifiers must match the text defined in the presets generated by the nodes button. Now, with the substance material fully created and the outputs connected, let's send it to Max and Redshift. First, we need to define the map name. We can write a custom name or click the arrow button to get the name of the current graph. Then we have the path in which all the text presets will be exported. By default, all will be exported to an export folder in your documents. Next, we have the format. In my case, I'll use PNG. Then we have a checkbox called Linear Workflow. Enable it if you are using 32 bit files like EXRs. Next, we have some emission and high options in case you are using those maps. And finally, two buttons Send and Update. Send will create the shader network from scratch, and Update will only export the maps again. That way, you will keep the changes in case you modify the network after creating it the first time. Let's click Send. And now, in Max, we will have a new material. We assign it to the cylinder, and everything is working as expected. We exported the material from Designer to 3ds Max and created the correct shader network for Redshift. Well, that's all for now. See you next time. Good luck.